Hey everybody, how you doing? What's up, it's your boy T. Cruz. I'm here just to talk to you, give you a little encouragement today. That's for real. Um, you know, there was a time when I was very, very depressed. When I first moved from you know, football to LA, and it was our first time, you know, trying a, a new career and a whole thing, man. And I got really, really severely depressed. I used to sit and watch TV and movies, you know, because I wanted to be a filmmaker. And I would eat burgers and cookies and and just, you know, try to to numb my pain by food. Um, it was one of those things where you know, there was no end to the sadness, you know, because it, things just weren't working out for me, man. I came out and was getting rejected and the whole thing. And what was crazy is that it slowly, slowly started to change my metabolism and I got overweight. I got sluggish, everything got cloudy and you could almost feel the descending spiral happening. I like to call it the toilet. And I understand it, I was there. And one day my wife came up behind me and she pinched my back fat. And it was there, it was heavy, it was pretty, pretty substantial. And she said, oh, you know, and she, oh, she loved me. And she was, you know, just being honest. And I was like, what, what are you doing? What, what's going on, what are you doing? And she was like, oh, you cute, you just cute. You know, I, yeah, I love you, it, it was no, and it wasn't meant to embarrass me at all. But I didn't even know it was there. I, in my mind, I was thinking, yeah, I'm still in my football shape, I'm still doing my thing and the whole deal. And when she pinched it, it, it made me realize I became conscious of how far I was from my goal. And this is one thing I want you to do, you know, one thing we have to do is be conscious of where we are, because once you see where you are, now you can really, really do something about it. And what's crazy, you know, is people feel like it's their job to go tell people what they want to do and make people woke, so to speak, and go, I'm going to tell them and I'm going to put them out there and I'm going to do this whole thing. But this is the real deal. Nothing changes until you as a person see where you are off. Nothing changes. Um, what happens is people get defensive. People want to fight. Um, and I'm here to, to just encourage you right now to sit in the silence and think and look at where you want to be, but also see where you are now, which is so valuable and so incredible. If you can just see where you are right now, and that doesn't mean get down on yourself. That doesn't mean be in the pit. It's you have to see where you want to go and you have to know where you are now and then you plan your trip. Let me tell you, when my wife did that, I joined the gym the next day and I went to the gym and I did not work out. I didn't do it. I actually went to the gym, sat on a machine, I read a magazine and then went home. And I did that for probably two weeks. Just went in, sat down, walked out. But what I was doing and what my, is what I had the insight to do, thank God, it was one of those things where because I knew where I was and I knew where I wanted to be, I was creating a new habit. Even if I didn't work out, the fact that I would go to the gym, the fact that I created this habit is actually more valuable than the workout. The habit is much more valuable than anything you can do. The habit of brushing your teeth is, is better than brushing your teeth once, one great time in a year. So it changed my life because eventually I started to move the machines. I started to do my thing and everything started to change. Slowly but surely, please, please remember everyone, it's baby steps, baby steps. But be conscious of where you are. Try to think about that today as you go about your day and do your thing. And let me tell you something, those little things 
will let you see yourself like you've never saw yourself before. Have a great day. I love you guys. <clears throat> Go out there and get it. God bless you.